Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel Oxman Garage. If you haven't visited the channel yet, welcome. If you have visited the channel, you can tell there's something completely wrong in my voice. <coughs> uh, my allergies are literally kicking my butt this entire year. I went blind a few months ago. Now this is absolutely crazy. Now I do think this is coupled between my allergies and the uh, wildfires up in Canada with the uh, air quality that was so poor last week. That's when all of this started. So bear with me. Sorry that I am not uh, <laughs> maybe as audible. I guess I don't know if that's really the, the word, but uh, yeah. <laughs> um, also doing the intro in my car and outside because, well, uh, this is like the fifth or sixth take at this point and it wasn't raining before, but uh, yeah, it's it's raining now, so it is what it is. Uh, let's get the car inside and see what we got. She is up on the dyno, getting ready to do these runs. Now let's see how much that boost leak from the intercooler piping did to me. So that's all I did today. We I haven't done any other mods. This is just the difference between the boost leak from the intercooler piping to now without the boost leak with the intercooler piping from putting the intercooler on. What do you guys think? No more high pitched squealing noise. Sounds way better. So I just decided to give myself a few days to give my uh, voice a reprieve. So it's kind of hard to hear me. So hopefully it's much easier to hear me now. But before we get into the numbers, I want to fix one more problem. And that problem is my front and rear Hyundai badges. So I had the front one off here back when we did the PPF and I decided to scot, you know, scuff it up and spray paint it. And it looked amazing for uh, about a week or two and then uh, from constant driving, uh, you see what happened. And the back one I haven't messed with yet but it's still the uh, original chrome and I, I'm, just, I'm just not with this look. Now what I've done to correct this problem is I have bought badge overlays. This is for the front and I have the back one right there on my spoiler. So what, these just go up and over your existing badges. They're made of black ABS plastic. So they're not gonna have any, you know, chrome coming out from the, you know, behind. So all you need to do is clean off your existing badges, hit it with a little bit of alcohol to get rid of any decontaminants after the detailer and then take the double sided tape off and stick it on. Let's see if I can uh, do this with one hand. So I've taken the 3M double sided off. We have the existing badge and all we're gonna do, let's see. Let's see how well this works. All right, there we go. On straight, yeah, that wasn't too bad. I was nervous I was gonna mess that up doing it one handed but that literally just goes right over the badge. Just make sure I push tight. Sorry about the camera. <laughs> ankle but yeah here we go all fixed looks way better no more chipping and do I dare to tempt fate number two I have the backing off the 3m double side tape and we have the back badge right here and oh yeah that's just put all nice pressure around the outside which is where the double side tape is and that looks amazing. So now, the chrome is now gone. Still trying to decide what I'm gonna do at the end. If I'm gonna leave it chrome with the bright white lights or if I wanna smoke tint those and turn that to maybe a black badge, we'll see. But yeah, for the most part, that looks awesome. I just want to take a brief moment to say thank you to Sixth Element for constant support of the channel and to constant support you, my followers and subscribers. 
If you didn't already know, if you go to Six Elements website, you can use coupon code Oxman Garage to save 5% off any order. Now that we fixed that problem, let's get into the nitty gritty of this video, the dyno results. Let me throw those up on the screen right now for you. So if you don't remember from last time, the torque was 253 and the horsepower was 252. So if you look at, at the results, we gained seven foot-pounds of torque, so we were at a 260 foot-pounds of torque. But the, uh, yeah, the horsepower, horsepower really didn't change all that much. It, it went up one horsepower. So now we're at 253 horsepower. Overall, I think we're doing pretty well. So if you don't recall, and you wanna go back into the old videos, the original, Dyno was 248 foot-pounds of torque and 238 horsepower to the wheels. So overall, with just doing bolt-ons, no tunes, I think I think this car is holding up pretty well. I think we've actually gotten some, some decent results. What do you guys think? If you guys are looking for some black badge overlays, you can check them out at shopoxmangarage.com or oxman.store. I do have them up on my website along with some awesome Oxman Garage and Elantra and merch. I do have some new merch gonna be dropping here in August of 2023, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification button. Just wanna say thank you once again to Six Element for constantly supporting the channel and constantly supporting you, my followers and subscribers. If you didn't already know, keep on code Oxman Garage, save 5% at sixelement.com. Link down in the description below. All right guys. Until the next time, peace.